Hey dreamers and welcome to the casting of Frank Stone. This is another horror game made by Supermassive Games, the creators of the Dark Pictures Anthology and the Quarry, very popular titles. If you have not played them for yourselves, I recommend you do. But this is in the same genre, so every choice I make has a consequence, whether that's major or minor or someone outright dies in my playthrough, it will happen, more than likely. So this is a blind playthrough. Whatever happens, happens. So guys, brace yourselves, and let's jump into the story of Frank Stone. And also, if you guys can hit five likes on this video, I will release part two today. So that means you get two videos today. All you gotta do is like this video. So do that right now before you forget. And uh, you might be able to see part two before tomorrow. So enjoy the video. Every choice made, every action taken has consequences. Some will save lives, some will result in death. As most of these games go. I sacrificed everything searching for it. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power. Infinite in knowledge, voracious in hunger, the entity. Ooh, already. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him, Frank Stone, my key, my killer. Frank Stone. I am Augustine Lee. And I'm about to change our worlds forever. Oh, is that the entity's campfire from Dead by Daylight, or is that just a coincidence? I think so. Anyway, I hope this game tells us more about the entity. I know this takes place in the world of Dead by Daylight, but I want to know more. Not just, you know, a side story with certain mentions of the entity. Alright, a little doggy. I believe, or a wolf or some, something. Probably a dog, right? He's a little shorter than a wolf. Oh. Don't, don't kill him! Oh. Okay, he's petting him, so it's a dog, I guess. There's a mask. Is that Frank Stone's mask? It looks like it, doesn't it? No way they're showing us Frank Stone right away. The villain is never revealed super early in these games. Never, ever, ever. Unless this one is the odd man out. There's a baby crying. Toby Bacare, Diana Bermudez, and Idris the Brand. Okay. This dog is very agile. Good stuff, doggy. You're doing great. Nice jump, nice jump. Is that a dead rat? Hunt for missing infant continues. I was that the infant we just heard? <laughs> he was there. Oh, so the infant was Oh. How did the newspaper come out? Already, if the baby's already there. Hello? Well, hopefully we find him. The Burning Maw. Cedar Steel Mill. 1963. Do any of these games take place in the present day? I guess, I guess the quarry was kind of recent. Tom. Snores. Why are my subtitles purple? Can I change that? That's kind of a weird color. Uh, display? No... Audio and language. Okay. Purple was just because I had per character colors. I don't need the whole thing colored. I just wanted the name, but if it's going to be the whole thing, I'll just leave him white. Officer! So dramatic! Sam. I, I guess he's one of my playable characters? 907 Steel Mill Entrance. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you, covering the entire site? 
Oh, no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Well, the manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin. Now, dog. Dog oh. the picture. Best friend a fella could ask for. That's the dog we just saw. Those are the seven horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. All right. Okay, so I hope it doesn't lean into Little Hope too much, where your dialogue is what determines your fate. Well, I, I think they've learned from that and won't go that route. But we shall see. This could be Plot Twist City. I need to ask you, I need to ask you a few questions. You and the dog. Uh, let's go with serious. Let's be a little serious cop here. I need to ask you a few questions. I'm yours to dispose of. Can I have your name? Thomas Jefferson Hope. Call me Tom. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. Tom, I want to talk to you about... I know what about. That missing boy, right? That's right. I asked the questions around here. This mill looks a big place. Biggest at all Cedar Hill. But that don't make no difference. Ain't no funny business going on around here. Not undermining Merlin's noses. How would you know? You're not even... You're, not, you're in your little shack... Hmm, sounds like a lot of ground to cover. Can I check your records? Let's just check the records. You sound confident. And rightly so. Can I check your records? My records? The logbook, visitors to the mill, out of our shifts, that sort of thing. My records. Wait, uh... Well, gotta be here someplace. Oh, he's nervous. Is that it? Uh... Oh, he's hiding something. Allow me. Ooh, Mr. Tom. Discovery. Oh, that was behind my face cam. Of course it was. But I discovered something. I guess I can use that to my... Ooh. Accusatory. Someone's been faking the entries. I guess I can use that because I found or used a certain dialogue. Let me go ahead and move my face cam first, though, because I don't want to ruin you guys' uh, experience. I don't want to hide anything, so I'm going to go over to the right side. I swear to God, if there's something on the top right, I'm going to be very upset. Here we go. All right. It's a little bit better. Accusatory, huh? Someone's been faking the entries. No. Who? No. I'm guessing you, Tom. Me? Well, maybe your partner Merlin helps you. He's a dog. Sounds like he's expected <laughs> to pick up all your slack. It ain't like that. I don't do it for me. I just got to cover for some of the mother fellas now and then. The ones who won't sign in or out. Got any names for me? Hmm. Uh, what is it now? Hank, maybe? Oh, no, 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 no. Fred something. Yeah, that's it. Fred Damn Fred seems pretty smart. Come on, Tom. I hope he's one of the playable characters. But, I believe this is the prologue. I don't remember. Oh, he's probably gonna die. I'm gonna be Alcohol honest. Alcohol does tend to impair the memory. Is that what you come out here for? To give a veteran a hard time about his medicinal practices? No. <laughs> I'm here because a child is missing. And every minute wasted is another chance gone to find him. Oh, you ain't true. Gonna That's find true. Him here. I know it in my bones that that boy, we're within a mile of this mill. But we know he's here. We just heard the baby. I'd dig a look around. All the same, I'd like to take a look around. You want to do my job for me? Be my guest. Why are you screaming at me? An innocent man would not be screaming at a cop Take right now. Tom. Get out of my way. Happy to oblige. I got business to attend to. You damn old man. I think you own the place. All right, Cedar Lakes, lure him in. Ooh, that sounds ominous. Kind of like a foreshadowing. Officer Sam, huh? I, like I said, most of these prologues, guys, in these games, the, the character you see first dies. So hopefully that doesn't happen. I'd like to be able to avoid it. But we'll see. See what happens. We can, if we will, work safely. Something have a plan. Ooh, this place is massive. Super massive. All right. And here we go. All right, to move and the right stick to look around. Find a way into the mill. How do I sprint? Left bumper. That's not a bad button to use. I'm okay with that. All righty. Game is beautiful as always. Okay, we got Prun Prunderers. Plunderers Instinct. I pre-ordered the game. 
Normally, you cannot use this ability until you finish the game once. So this, like this, allows me to find collectibles. It highlights them in the world for me. I have a cooldown, but... Oh, see, there's a collectible right there. I did not know that was there. It looks like I can squeeze through here. Okay. I will try to get as many collectibles as possible, guys, especially if it helps me in my playthrough. I'd like to do that. That's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Grunting. Stop grunting, sir. We got a little bit of a box here. What is this? Open. Ooh, chess piece. Iridescent King. Oh, are they are they gonna go with all the add-ons? Like iridescent add-ons from DVD? That'd be so cool. So far, that's one, so iridescent king. Wouldn't be surprised if you find iridescent queen too. That was cool. I'm not sure how that's gonna help me though. Probably not. I think that's just a collectible thing. I like it though. Plunder's Instincts is like a very good thing. So yes, I did pre-order the game. I didn't get the deluxe edition or anything, which getting the deluxe edition allows you to have access to the cutting room floor mode, which lets you go back on some of your actions preventing deaths. But like I said, we will not be preventing deaths today. Wait, I can't use my ability. I guess I have all the collectibles in this area? Must be. Well, that's a really cool thing that it goes away if there's none left. I can get in through there. I like that a lot. That makes my brain feel good. <laughs> now knowing that I'm not going to be missing anything. Hell yeah. Very nice. So, I don't have to spend all my time searching like I do usually do in these games. You guys know how I am in video games, right? If you've watched any of my playthroughs, you'll know that I like to search as much as I can. Which only makes sense... I mean, I like to, yeah, I'm a little bit of a completionist, you know? Ooh, I got a crack here. Don't jump scare me. Don't do it. Okay, so there was actually a, a free Steam demo for a while. I was going to play it, and then I realized that it's this exact area. So I wasn't actually playing something that I wouldn't be able to play when I play this game. It's literally just a prologue, so I obviously I didn't record it. Was going to, but I don't want to show you guys the same footage twice. That's kind of kind of boring. All right, I guess there's nothing here. Hello. But well, the cutting the not the cutting room. The, the plunderer's instinct should pop up again. We got a note. Friday the thirteenth afternoon. Harold Norris, Dennis McCann. I guess that's who clocked in. Okay, so we have actual records this time. Move Dawkins and Stone off graveyard to pick up slack. No use running three crews with half the manpower. Some fellas gonna have to double up. Shifts. Told the Lumpkin out front. No one's working nights for a while. Okay. Graveyard shift, huh? Why not? What's wrong with that? This. Grab. Pull. <laughs> okay. A clipboard. Huh? Employees personnel record. Date employed February 4th. Surname TEFA. Genist. One charge assault robbery. Okay. You guys a freak. Put him down. I don't see how that was very important. Oh, staff file. A mill employee got his job thanks to an endorsement from Dr. Lieber. Okay, okay, well, that's good. I guess that'll help us later. You will not be able to return to the area. That's fine. I think I got everything. Get out of the way, pallet. I almost stunned the killer with that one. All right. This game is beautiful. Wow. I don't recognize anyone yet. I know these uh, Supermassive games love to use popular actors, or at least people that are in the acting industry. And I don't recognize anyone yet. So if you guys recognize anyone, please let me know. That was glowing a second ago. I saw it at the corner of my eye. Hello. The harshest flame yields the hardest steel. Howard Kinsey Tester. Wish my name was Tester. Such a beautiful name. Go in here. Locked. No. I also raised the brightness a little bit because uh, when games su suggest here? brightness Police. meters, it's always way too damn low. So I had to turn that up really quick. All right. So we'll keep moving. 
Jesus. Excuse me. Trying to flashbang me here today or what? I don't want to go blind. Rather not. Going blind is not fun, actually. Now the pallet. So many pallets on this map. Can I go under? No, I doubt it. Guess we go into this very lit door. This has to be it. Hello! My name's Samantha. I mean, Sam. What is that? Who's there? Sounds goopy. Sounds like some goo. Very goopy. Up we go. Alright. Think twice. The best safety measure is a mindful worker. Oh, that's locked. Guess I can't go that way even if I wanted to, guys. Alrighty. Gotta love the accurate staircase descend. There is no such... Ugh, smells like death. Realism is, is, is key, is what I was gonna say. It smells like death? What does death smell like? I'm not too sure. Can you explain? Explain to me. Right, so it looks like collectibles will always be highlighted for me. With cutting room floor. I keep saying cutting room floor. With plunder's instinct. But notes and such will not be. Unless I just haven't come across one in the same room. I don't know. Ooh. Only 9 o'clock at night. I think I said that already. I already saw the time. Hello, Tom. Mister, that's Officer Green. Officer Green. You haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Sorry. Ugh. You alright there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? Thanks. Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. Ugh. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. Let's do it. What's it smell like? I don't trust you, but oh well. Nothing good. Smells like meat. Dead meat. You said it smelled like death. I only assume it's what we're gonna find. I don't want to find death right away, though. Actually, I'd rather find someone else dead than, than me. Oh, other people can die. Oh. Merlin, where you got to. what are you eating, man? He's he's angry. See ya. Come here, boys. Dag nabbit. Dag nabbit. Sure to like it if you two made proper acquaintance. God damn it. What the bro's eating remains. What the? Ew! Don't touch it. Oh my goodness, dude. Is that a chicken nugget? That looks like one, doesn't it? Put it back down. You put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Obviously so not. You let him go. The man and his best friend. What's that? Some kind of wiener meat? Some kind of wiener meat? Ooh, it's an ear! Oh. Human ear. Will you look at that? Man, Sam has guts. He does not look that gross out. Dog. That much. <laughs> He's just holding it like it's a present. Stop touching it! Oh my god. To the boy you're looking for? I don't think so. That was a big ear. Came from someone else. Nah. Came from someone much older. Teenager, maybe. It's kind of hard to Jesus, now you're the milkmaid. point the character towards the baby being dead the other folks going missing when we just heard it in the pro in the cutscene. Well, I don't know. Who would know a thing like that? Well, Merlin. <laughs> somebody does. All right, let's go ahead and try to find something else. I guess this is glowing. Hello. Open. Oh, maybe they're not add-ons, but we got the king there. Can't really do anything else, so I guess that's it for now. Shows you how many of how many you have. I wonder if they're gonna be in order though. I'd rather not. Was that sound? Miss any? Stay behind me. Stay behind me, Tom. I'll protect you. I got a gun, which is good because I'm probably gonna need it. Frank Stone's gonna get me. 
Frank Stone. <laughs> Some kind of great. So, what is this thing? The great? Yeah. What is it for? <laughs> it's a. Uh... For the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. That's a fair point. Now, he's probably lying, because he was lying before, but... I don't think this guy... I think he's telling the, like, a half-truth. Like, I don't, I don't think he's lying to me right now. Oh, climb? Okay. All right, what was this for? <laughs> what was this for? Oh, crowbar. That's awfully convenient. Gotcha. It looks pretty small. They just did the Dead by Daylight item collection sound. I love that. Some items can be kept and used later. That's so cool. What a nice little noise. Bling. The little references. I'm going to get them all and I'm going to point them out every time. Don't you guys worry about that. Very good. Guess we gotta open the grate with that. I think there's anywhere else to go anyway, so here we go. Hello? Open. Use item. Tom? He's gonna push me down there, isn't he? He's gonna be a prick. Press X repeatedly until before the button times out. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got quick time events. You can disable those, but I will not. Like I said, I need to play this game the way it was meant to be played. Yeah, that can't be light. Come on, help me out, Tom, you... Freaker. Damn. Don't push me down there. I swear to God. All right. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Wow, that's awfully trustworthy. A gun! Going. You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know. I got a feeling. He wasn't down there when we just saw, though. Unless, although it was black and white, so. I'm gonna need you to take this to the ear. Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh, oh boy, I don't know. I don't know. I need your help here. All right, I'll be supportive. I need your help here, Tom. I wouldn't ask if I didn't. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. You're literally just going to my car. I'm doing the hard work. I call them for nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. That's well said. You can do this. Damn. I still don't know if I can trust this guy, but here we are. Yeah. He doesn't look like a... I can do this. He doesn't look like he's lying right now, though. Like, the, the facial expressions kind of make I'm me think he's... You, Tom Hope. All right, Tom Holt. The car's the other way. <laughs> Why are you going that way? Fate changed. You put your faith in Tom. All right, Sam trusted in Tom to help him when he needed him most. Uh, I'd like to think that was the good call. The decisions have started, my friends. The decisions have begun. I mean, if I have the ear with me and i die and there's no evidence there's nothing we're back to square one so i i think that's good Ooh, of course the ladder broke awfully bright my friend <laughs> thank you oh, i lost my hat no no what am i supposed to do with my hat find a way to the furnace chamber oh there's my hat Take it. I don't care if it's in the sewer. Put it on. You're not the same without it. This is a well, there's furnace access right there. That's where I gotta go, isn't it? What, what about a more to look at? And I will look at stuff. Windows. Oh, plunder's instinct. Here we go. Okay, so that's very cool. You see things through walls. Voila. 
Another little box. I imagine. Yeah, we got a little horse. The wooden horse. I know what it is to believe. Through the forest, the path is clear, and the fire waits for me. This is the nurse's uh, add-on, isn't it? I believe. All right. Nice little find there. So plumber's instinct can't be used again. So I guess it's only for those. Damn. It's a maze down here. There's someone down here. You hear those footsteps, guys? What's down here? I hope the path I choose won't get me killed. That would be awful. Oh, there's nothing. All right. Well, it was worth a try. Okay, so this area is pretty much good to go now. I don't have to go back there. I guess the furnace access is locked. Ooh, oh, that was my hat. Mm, what if I go this way, though? You can't fool me, boy. You got a door that I can't open. Okay, well, that was pointless then. Worth a look. Ooh. Symbols. Someone is engaged in strange rituals in the hidden areas of the mill. I didn't mean to look at that. Whoops. I was just clicking buttons to try to see if I can, like, turn off the flashlight, but turns out I looked at symbols. Very good for me. Furnace access is that way. What if I go this way? I heard footsteps this way. Not gonna lie, I'm a little suspicious about it. Oh, it's a dead end. Yeah, like I said, this game's kind of linear. Actually, I didn't say that, did I? I was thinking to myself. <laughs> it's linear. It's linear, but it's not if you decide to explore everything. To be in. Hey, I'm just on the other side of that window now. Almost missed you. Heart locket. Who is that? That's like Johnny from Texas Chainsaw. Okay. You, tell me that's a clue. Uh, the game saved, so something worked there. The game is telling me I've done something correctly. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. All right. Look. Oh, more meat! Oh, no. That's a whole rib cage, my friend. Oh, God. People are dying down here. Frank Stone! This place turns my stomach. I don't want Sam to die, man. He wouldn't. Crawl? What about over here? I can jump over this, right? Yeah. Aha! That's oh, a hillbilly! Relic found. Weird and weird down here. That's so cool! Look at him! I love it. He's like a tiny little child, hillbilly. Ah. Uh, is he is it oh, i don't know that was cool but that one wasn't highlighted by plunder's instinct so that might be different relics are just completely separate maybe cool man what am i what to find god damn small i hope we see more of them i don't think we'll see anybody licensed but still cool crawl space there i can go up many different options which way's the furnace Over here, I guess. All right. It looks like a furnace room to me. Let's go upstairs first. Oh, another thing I almost missed. Let me see that. Some kind of metal plate. My God. That's just metal, dude. Why are you saying my God? I mean, it's covered in blood, I guess. That's kind of bad. I guess that is bad. And then that's it. I think I'm finding everything so far, which makes me very happy. Do the crawl space. Succeed a skill check. Press A when the pointer is inside the zone. Skill checks? Oh my god. What's the difference between a great and a good? Does it do anything for you? You get an advantage in a sequence, maybe? Oh my goodness. Skill checks. I guess it's not dead by daylight if it, there's no skill checks, guys. That's cool, I guess. It's different, for sure. They got the same noises and everything. It's pretty cool. I think that's everything down here. Let's go ahead and go up. Let's climb. Or not. Right, I have to hold it. Oh, I guess I can't come back. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to miss anything. Try this door, right? 
Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> I figured as much, but uh, now we know for real. I believe I got everything here. All right, Sam. Effort. Awfully red in this room. That's ominous. I don't like it. Holy. This is hellish. I hear the baby. <gasps> Sam. Fuck. No way. You left it there. That can't be real. Shit. That's a trap. <gasps> Frank Stone. <laughs> He's the man himself. Oh, God. Ramp or ladder? I think he was just at the ladder, was he not? I guess I'll go ramp? I don't know. Ramp is safer, right? Oh! I got a good skill check. Nice. That, that would have killed me. Frank Stone! Oh, there he is. It doesn't look as big as I thought. Or maybe maybe it's... Frank Stone is, like, not actually a person. And it's multiple people dressed up in the same outfit. Oh, man. He's not messing around. Oh, God. No. You will not murder me right now. Sam! Get him. Shoot him. Oh. 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 Oh, ah, yes, blind him, good skill check, you like that, uh, yeah, no, it is not, it's not Tom, oh, you're dead, where's my gun, <gasps> gun, oh, no, I hit all the skill checks, oh, Jeez. Of course, impaled. Very dead by daylight like. God. Wait. I can still get out. It's not over. I know it hurts, dude. You got it. Oh my god. <laughs> he is not doing this right now. Ah! Ooh. Staying there would have been a bad idea for sure. Read yourself from the pipe. Why wouldn't I? Fate changed. But there's no reason. Don't eat that baby. Shoot him. Wait, that's the girl. From the beginning. Oh, another great skill. Uh, not a skill check. Quick time event. Get the gun. Get the gun, Sam. Oh. Don't you touch... Oh, he's going to hold the baby so I can't kill him. Come on, dude! Don't throw the baby in the fire, please. You wouldn't. Ooh. Again. Oh, yeah! I mean, that's good, right? I did good, I think. Holy. You shot Frank Stone and saved the child? Yes! Give me that baby. It's my baby now. God damn. Damn. That is gruesome. Love it. Sleep tight, motherfucker. Yeah. But if I just stood there on the pipe, I would have just died and that was it? Like why would you why would you do that? I don't understand why the entity's gonna take him though. I think the entity's gonna take him and bring him back to life. Has to. There's the black fog. Aha! Uh -huh. That's why she's there, I guess. So if I didn't kill Frank Stone, then wouldn't be taken. Although the entity doesn't only take dead people. The entity itself. Did it take Sam too? What about the baby? Oh my goodness! What a nightmare, Madison. Dude, that was an awesome first first sequence. I loved it. Is it? Damn. 
I guess she's one of the playable characters. Ah. Good old H2O. Or whiskey. One of the two. Oh? You're having a nightmare or you're in the entity's realm. That's, uh... Because, yes, the entity guys, from what we know, you know, Dead by Daylight trials and stuff, and it just never ends. But... Surely the entity has, like, more than just trials. You know, it's like a whole realm. So this could be the entity's realm, and it's playing tricks on you. We don't know exactly what it does, right? Sad sigh. Mom. I guess mom passed away. Or is long gone. Either way. Hey. Yeah. Mother? Yeah, I had to make sure it wasn't going to, like, play tricks on me behind, but... We got a nightmare sequence. None of this is right. Ah, I'm back in my room. Oh. Can I pick it up again? Oh, uh, she scratched out this time. Ah. Nice trick. Nice trick, Entity, but I know what you're doing. Can I grab some more water? Not sure why, but... Put it back down! Is there anything else in here? What? A... That's so cool. I mean, it's better than having no shelter, right? Better than nothing? Um! What the... Upside down now! Oh, thanks. I'll keep going. Oh, she got closer this time. I believe. More scratches. Huh. More water? <laughs> I can keep grabbing the glass. Why wouldn't I? That's funny. There's nothing in my glass again. Unfortunate. I wish it would refill itself. Oh, and now I'm outside. All right, I'm going back inside. Well, I suppose that's not an option. Scratch marks? No way. I'm not running. That's not how it works. That's so cool, man. Like, if you're a fan of Dead by Daylight, this is, like, so many neat little references so cool hopefully the killer isn't nearby he'll see my scratch marks all right i don't think there was anything else to look at there you're not gonna say anything about the scratch marks at all you're just gonna like ignore it no uh, this is a nightmare oh wait you're giving me a sequence where i can't go back i feel like i missed something oh well maybe, maybe not I'm not going to spend too much time looking around. Let's proceed. Keep the story running. Rolling. Whatever. Whatever you want to say to me. Say it! Got a TV here. Oh no, am I going against uh, Sadako? I hope not. I'm going to keep making DVD jokes. You guys know that, right? You don't know what you're getting into right now. I don't see anything else that I can possibly look at, so I guess we just go ahead and use it. Another point of no return. I don't like these no return points, man. They're, just, they're stressing me out. Oh well. Right, at least the game paused for me. Pause for me. Mom sobbing. That's not creepy at all. What's wrong? Don't turn your back on the TV. Oh. Dude, she doesn't even sound like a person. Everything's all right. 
Yeah. Here comes the jump scare. Wah! Ooh, damn. Oh, the entity! It's another nightmare. Oh, boy. Damn. What a nightmare. That was creepy. Is it like Freddy where you periodically have nightmares and then it becomes where you can't get up again, you know? What was that thing? Some kind of medallion, maybe? Uh... Ooh. Bom, bom. I guess that's the end of the prologue, it seems like. Hell yeah. I have copyrighted music turned off, too, so... I don't have anything to worry about that. Oh, maybe it's not over. The radio. How'd you get here? You can do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. There's on the left, left side of the right side. There's only one lane. Like you're not able to switch here. Don't read that when you're driving, you fool. Oh, and there's Augustine though. That was the girl we saw at the beginning. Hitchhikers? Is that a hitchhiker? Looks like they need help with their vehicle. Stop? Yeah, I'll stop. I'm nice. That person doesn't look like a evil person. What can I do for you? Okay. Yeah, so... Do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. Oh. So it's not out of your way. Perfect. Yeah, guess not. Me stopping here. Uh, in this game, just like the quarry, uh, you can raise or lower relationships with your friends. I assume this is helping me. I, I think this is another playable character. I'm not sure, though. You chose to pick up the hitchhiker. I mean, if she's going to the same place I am, it turned out that I, this is definitely a good choice. Relationship-wise. In my... Unless this is a enemy. <laughs> I don't know. So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? Yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close. And I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. He was very reserved. Where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. Paris? That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles... Oh. ...and Oregon, once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. Oh. I've heard it was really nice. Two moms, eh? Or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. So which one died? I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Germany. Oh, Maddie, by the way. Linda. Linda. Nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Hitchhiker introduces herself as Linda. Why do you feel the need to tell me that she introduced herself as Linda? Is she using an alias? That's my relic, the hillbilly. Max Thompson Jr. Oh, that's so good. I can't... What is this? The champion. Okay, okay, okay. Murder Mill, Storyteller. Clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. 
do you do for a living, or what do you know about this manor? Too apprehensive. So, what do you know about this manor we're both coincidentally going I'd like to, to know more. I think if I ask her more questions, she's going to give me a wrong answer anyway. <laughs> Hold on now. Might not That's be telling me the fair. truth. I asked you first. Okay, well, I don't know anything, and I'm guessing neither do you. I didn't say I didn't know anything. Yeah, you did. You could tell. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. All I know is that I was invited for a personal audience with Augustine Lieber. And oh. that was supposed to be super fancy or something, and that it would be in my best interest not to turn it down. Man, where is his manor? What? My invitation was pretty much the same. <laughs> pretty much? Linda is grateful you pulled over. Hey, I, that's what I'm saying. You would have had to walk all that. Take a look. I'd like to get the relationships as high as I can. I, like I said, I hope they don't do a little hope and de solely determine whether people live or die with your dialogue and relationships. But it definitely does help. So I don't want anybody to make a uh, decision for me because they don't like someone else. Two in the house of darkness. That was the prologue completed. Or he killed Frank Stone. Was I supposed not to? Like, of course I'm going to shoot the man. Save the baby. One of those, that baby's going to come back, guys. 100%. Very cool. It's a big place. This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Well, thankfully, it's not a movie; it's a game, so we're fine. All right. Um, do we just knock, or I'm not sure. Oh, I doorbell. Okay. So there's supposed to be five people, like every other supermassive game. I imagine other friends are already here. By friends, I mean strangers. This is definitely when I was told to get here. You're welcome. Hello? Anybody home? You gonna try? Of thumb to try every door. Oh. No, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Okay. Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? <laughs> because I'm grown up. Okay. So are you, Maddie? <sighs> then uh, here we go. Apparently. Hello? Don't just walk in. I would be waiting outside for a bit at least. Where's your manners? Eh, <laughs> manner. Beats me. All right. Nine, Hello? nine, eleven. Let's take a look around. Okay, so we can look around the manor. Hello. Look around and find Augustine Lieber. Ah, but I will be ending this episode here, guys. So, as I stated in the beginning of the video, five likes on this video right now, and I'll upload a part two in a couple hours. I will have that up and running tonight. So if you want two videos today, like this video. Five likes. It has been done multiple times before on other videos, so it's super easy. And if you want to see more sooner than later, leave a like on the video. And on that note, thank you so much for watching episode one of Frank Stone. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far. And let me know what you want to see from it. And maybe if you want me to go a certain way with it, I'd be happy to oblige. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And like I said, leave a like. And subscribe if you want to be notified when part two does get released. And I will see you in the next one. It's time to wake up now.